Welcome back to another short and sweet, where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Whiskey Gypsy sent us their inaugural release of... The Explorer series. Yeah, the Explorer series in collaboration with Eric Church. So this could actually go in our celebrity whiskey pile. And it will. Well. It's not actually a pile, but you know what I mean. <laughs> we uh, just pile we it just up. We just pile them up. Uh, it's like until a pyramid. They fall That's dangerous. Don't do that. Yeah. So this one is a blend of two six-year bourbons. And they say, like, as the Explorer series, they're never going to put anything out that's less than six years. So it'll always be six years or more. Minimum, Minimum. six. Minimum. Yeah. Uh, so this is a blend of two six-year bourbons, one being an Indiana high rye, the other one being a Kentucky low rye. Okay. And then that's finished, the Explorer part, mm -hmm. is that it's finished in some global wood staves, some wood finishing from across the globe. So we got French oak mm -hmm. and Appalachian oak. Appalachian So oak. American oak, okay. but more specifically from Appalachia. Gotcha. Which it is also, near, nearby. It is, yeah, nearby, just in the, in just the hills, neighbors. right? Just uh, neighbors. Yeah, also carries a mash bill of 66% corn, 30% rye, and 4% malted barley mm. with those uh, those two mash bills combined. And the proof on here is 103. 103, which is a great proof. I think that it said that the they aim for the series itself to range between 100 and 107. So we can- It's a pretty good average. I guess, expect from them in the future, mm -hmm. something that's over six years old, that's between 100 and 107 proof. If you're curious Love about the next it. release. Speaking of releases, 69.99 suggested retail. Okay. Not too shabby in this day and age. Well, when you're talking about, I mean, the six year- the Finished. Hmm, not unusual, but the finished. Yeah. And you tack on the celebrity tax, you would actually celebrity think tax, maybe- Celebrity tax, source tax. Right. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. and this bottle's pretty nice. It is nice. That is some, different. Yeah, there's some spice notes in there, a little earthiness. And savory. Coffee, a dry rub. Yeah. A little I would, bit of, not barbecue, but hmm. maybe barbecue chips. Yeah, barbecue chips. It might be, yeah, that might be um, the closest thing. What are they, uh, the ones from New Orleans, Zaps? Something like that. Yeah, Pretty yeah, sure. yeah. Or also I could see Grippos. Grippos, yeah. Yeah, like an earthy. That's much better direction than I was going. The, the first thing I latched onto was a gravy. <laughs> I like the barbecue chips better. Huh, okay. <laughs> well, it was just that earthy and savory, yeah. and in my head it went gravy. And gravy. To your help. <laughs> okay. Not what I was, I don't know what not, I was expecting. I don't but know what I was expecting. Not but what I was expecting. Oh, the spice from that high rye. It's more like a rye. It is more like a rye. The warm baking spice really lingers. Pepper, clove, cinnamon. Mm hmm. A little bit of nutmeg. <laughs> not the kind that will kill me, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, don't serve this girl nutmeg. Don't do it. Yeah, for a 30% rye, I would have thought this is more like a 51% barely legal barely rye. Barely legal. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really coming through. Nice uh, hug, I guess mm -hmm. we have to say. a. Uh, cross state handshake hug because yeah. <laughs> you have Indiana and Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Just throwing up a high five cross state. <laughs> Two of the tri state area right. hug, maybe? Um, I believe in the press release that they said that they chose the staves to like highlight the spice, the spices that were in the blend. And I think that it does a really good job of doing that. Mm, um, I agree I'm definitely with that. getting the spices. It's got a solid hug, high five, cross state, <laughs> tri state high five. Tri for um, two of tri-state, yeah, for, uh, duo state, duo state, high yeah. five for a 103 proof, which is you know mm -hmm. very solid proof. It drinks yeah. like it. Mm -hmm. For sure. I see here on the back of the bottle. I'm uh, I'm trying not to pay too much attention to it, but it has like the flavor profile as far as like low, medium, and high. They list leather, dried fruit, oak, vanilla, structure, and length of finish, and then it's sort of like a sliding where they put the dot yeah. of the sliding scale. I would say, well, I don't want to talk until I've had the second sip because I just had first one. sip is. All right, well, let's take a minute let's to talk right. about our home on the internet, which is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get uh, the hoodie that I am wearing, hat, uh, our glassware over All here. Glassware. We also have rocks, glasses, and copitas in that. Uh, oh, and the mini glens. You can't forget the mini can't glens, the mini which glens. are awesome. Also, bottle cut candles, the new elemental uh, golden hour cocktail syrup, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash and join our community for as little as one buck a month. That's right, just one. Uh, and that's where you get after the episode exclusives with us where we go more in depth on episodes. Yeah. Uh, you get discounts on that merch depending on your tier and the big one, access to our barrel picks. All right, my official second sip. And my third sip, because that's just how I operate. It's sweet mm. up front. More honey this time. More honey, it's yeah, it's sweet, hun like li melted honey, liquid honey mm -hmm. up front. And then it goes into those spices. Then that, again, I still get that like barbecue dry rub, uh -huh. smoky yes. spice uh -huh. almost towards the That's finish. That's still there for sure. Mm -hmm. Which is strange because like usually with French oak finishes, I get, like I can tell it's a French oak finish. And on this one, it doesn't stand out on its own. Right, and I think that's a combination of those two oaks, two, maybe. Yeah. yeah, but mm -hmm. I would definitely call this a campfire 
bourbon. You know, it sit is. around a campfire. It's got a little bit of that smokiness in there. The barbecue. The I mean, barbecue. it all just sort of uh, blends in, and, and and yeah. Well, since we've given our notes, I guess I can quickly tell. What do they say? So on leather, they say medium. Mm. I'm not picking up a whole lot of leather, no. but you know, teach their own. Dried fruit between medium and low. Mm -hmm. Oak they have on high. It's good. I mean, I taste I'm, the oak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vanilla, they have between medium and high. Okay, I agree. Structure, they have it as high. I don't know if they're meaning like mouthfeel maybe, maybe or texture or structure. And then length of finish, they have between medium and high. I would say it's a medium finish. I think with the rye spices in there, it does linger a bit. It lingers more on the palate than in the chest for me. Mm, and that might just be palate, a product yeah. of the proof maybe, I don't know, but, but yeah. Overall, uh, this is a really interesting release and mm. uh, I'm excited to see you know, with this is our inaugural release, um, what the subsequent releases. Next? Sure, and I am excited to see how it fares against other celebrity whiskeys whenever we mm. pull that episode out. Yeah, exactly. It'll be fun. Round two of the celebrity whiskey uh, skirmish or whatever skirmish. you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. That's where we'll leave it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Whiskey Gypsy. Until next time, drink more bourbon.